Albert Einstein once said, out of clutter, find simplicity. From discord, find harmony. Within every difficulty lies opportunity. We, the students of the first theater studies degree in India, proudly present to you our first production, Savre. On this momentous occasion, we would like to welcome our chief guest, Dr. Thomas Chandy, who is the founder and managing director of Hosmat Hospital. We would always also like to welcome the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Father Thomas C. Matthew, Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. Father Abraham, and Chief Financing Officer, Dr. Father Vergis. And also welcome all the deans, directors, teachers. Music theater developed rapidly over the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. We present to you a collection of songs from the latter part of the 20th century musical theater. No. Each 
player must constantly jump between hope and despair while trying to make sense of it all. But it's always a choice. A choice between hope and despair. In the battle of life, you can either drown in your sorrows For every ray of hope that you offer, there is a bottomless pit of despair we see silly fools sink into with pathetic ease. We possess wings of love, purity, joy, and faith, which shall not be tarnished by darkness or despair. Ah, the plight of you poor, poor optimist, so far, far from reality. Well, we shall see how far your pretty little wings take you when the terror of darkness envelops these foolish creatures. Eric, that was amazing. Nothing can stop you now. I mean, that was literally brilliant. I'm so close. Just a little more practice. And I'll be ready, Lucas. The trophy that I've been dreaming of ever since I was a child will be mine. You work so hard, even you're already so good. Don't you ever feel like taking a break or getting outside the studio and having a life? That's what you don't understand, my friend. This is my world. Everything that I do. Eat, drink, live, breathe is to dance. This is my life. That's something. I probably won't ever fully understand. But if it makes you happy, so I'm assuming that you don't want to eat or something. A little while longer. <laughs> okay then, I'll see you in a bit. Sorry for what? It's my life that's been destroyed. I'm sorry that I wasn't there. I wasn't there to help you. Eric, Lucas, you've always been a good friend. Don't cry. I'll be okay. I learned to live my life with the pain of having no hope. I'll be fine. It will be difficult. But I'll learn. No, Eric. You will not. You will learn to live your life again. But not without hope. Even in the blackest depths of despair. Even in the most impossible dreams. There lies that tiny ray of hope that gives you strength to dream again and you will to dream to you 
impossible dream to fight the unbeatable foe to bear with unbearable sorrow to run where the brave dare not go to ride and ride the wrong to love pure and chase from afar to try when your arms are too weary to reach the unreachable star this is my quest Follow that star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to, to fight for the right, without question or pause, to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. And I know, if I lonely be. That one man is going and covered with scars, still strong with his last songs of courage to reach the unreachable star, the unreachable star. Never mind, that is just one lucky victory for those hopeful buffoons. They think they have won the game, but they forget every game has its highs and lows. And it's going to go all downhill from here. Indeed, they do. Is that so? And what if that very heart is ripped apart? What do you mean by that? Wait, what do you mean? What does he mean by that? Heaven, only knows what he means by that. All I know is that he can't be anything good. Let us go forth immediately and settle this chaos they too are sure to cause. Honey, I'm home. Well, you're very early. I'm sorry. I got held up at work. Well, I have something for you. No. This time, it's one time too many. The truth is, I'm late because I was searching for some flowers as beautiful as you. I'm sorry, I couldn't find any.
I really missed you today. I missed you too, so very much. You know what they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Well, it certainly made mine. Mine too, darling, mine too. Hey. You're late. I know. The wife kept me waiting. The wife? If I were your wife, I'd poison your coffee. Oh, don't be so dramatic, darling. Besides, you know what they say? Absence makes the heart grow fonder. You know what they also say? Familiarity beats content. <laughs> I've had enough of you. Are you sure? About that. Jake? Amanda! What a pleasant surprise. I, I was just talking to Natasha about you. I just thought I'd surprise you with some lunch. Uh, Natasha, please bring me those files I had asked you for. Files? <clears throat> those files, remember? Oh yes, those files. Jake, why was she in here? Oh, don't be silly, my love. She was just briefing me about a few meetings I had to attend. Anyway, why don't we go out for lunch instead? I'll go make some reservations. Why don't you come along? Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? I'm fine. You go ahead. I'll be right out. to see it before my very own eyes. Oh, I disgust myself to love him and to want him in spite of his philandering ways. Yet, I know the end is near. What do I have now? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. I dreamed a dream in time gone by When hope was high and life was living Hey!